What's up, family? It's another hot day down here at the compound. This is your boy, Bill. <laughs> On the budget. Coming to you with another video. Hey, uh, look at me. That's, the, that's what the grind look like. That's the grind, the outdoor grind. I'm repping my boy hat to y'all. See that? I need my own merch. My daughter been trying to tell me. But I rep heels. I mean, if I'm a rep the Risto, I might well rep my boy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it? So look, let's go ahead and talk about something today. I just wanted y'all to see how far I got. And uh, when I show y'all this, I don't want y'all to be talking a little junk because I had to do something. Let me go on and tell you, show y'all what I got. Look at that. Look up in there. Y'all like that? See that sway ball? Now, let me go ahead and explain to you what I'm doing. See all them rusty parts? It hurt me to my heart to put on them rusty parts. But it is what it is. Bill on the budget. Getting ready to move this truck. Yes, sir. This C10 is getting ready to come off the stands. And I'm going to tell you why. Look around here. She going back here today. So, in order for me to get it back here, I got to put some tires on it. And when I put the tires on it, I got to be able to steer it. So, I had to put the old steering box back on my clean frame. So that I can steer this thing so the wheels won't be flopping. And yeah, the rotor's gonna look bad too, cause I haven't cleaned them up, but they got to go on there. Now what this does is, it lets you appreciate where I started from and where I ended up. Because this whole front end looked just like this stuff right here. Yes. So built on the budget, Ben. He been working. Show y'all a little something else I got going on here today. Got my radiator support. And it's a junkyard fine. Got a real good deal on it. It come with the appropriate uh, hood latch mechanism. Uh, everything mounts to the grill like it's supposed to and it was real solid with the exception of right there now if you know anything about this truck these trucks this spot is up under the battery box but uh, I can fix that Got a little spot right here. Cut that out. Patch it in. Just a little bit right there. And I already made a piece. They go down there. But what I got to do is, you see that line right there? I just got to extend it a little bit up there so it'll, so it'll fit. Up under here on this lip. If that, if that makes sense. See I cut it out. On this line. Cut it somewhere up in here. And then chisel that out. And then I make this piece. That I made. And I put it in. I show y'all when I finish with it. And then I make that little piece. 
go right here. Whoop, whoop. Let me say this to you. If you're working on this stuff, you got a couple of choices. You can call up LMC, ADM, ABC, CBS, NBC, and write a check and get all of that stuff brand new. That's, you know, now that's the correct way to do it. When you see these bills and everything is flawless, they probably got twenty, thirty thousand dollars in labor. Not counting the parts. Can you imagine a sixty-seven C10 that you probably got over sixty thousand dollars in it? You kidding me? You don't even want to drive that. It'll be on a trailer everywhere you go. Trailer queen. You have it for five years and have 22 miles on it. But when you build them on the budget, yes, sir, you put them on the road. You won't park all the way out there at the street at Walmart because you're scared somebody might put a dent in it. You'll pull up there and get the best spot possible, just like you would if you was in a car you were making car payments on. Well, some of y'all will. Some of y'all don't do that. But, yeah, that piece there was a junkyard fine. And, and if you ain't able to make some type of corrections to rust, then they got a nice Ford or a nice Chevrolet or a Dodge down at the dealership waiting for you. That's what you need. All right, so let me share this with you. Now, the truck coming over here. So when this truck come over here, it's a couple of things that's going to happen. Now, let me show you one of them. Uh-oh. Didn't nobody tell me that uh, Santa Claus won't in no sled. Santa Claus come on an 80 John Deere cart. Y'all check that cart out. That's an 80 cart, man. John Deere. And look what's on it. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell y'all what's in these boxes. It's all of the floor. All of them bad pieces I showed y'all is in them boxes. Out of floor extension. Out of rockers for both sides. Uh, left side floor pan. A uh, left side uh, rocker pounder extension. Not a rocker pounder. Kick pounder. All of that is what's in them boxes. LMC bought them today. And uh, <clears throat> that means that it's time for some surgery. Where the X marks the spot, all that's going to be cut out. All of this here is going to be cut out. All of this stuff right here got to go. All of this ugly around here got to go. Now, y'all see, it's after 5 o'clock in the evening, right? See that sun? It's still hot out here, man. It's been like this since about 8 o'clock this morning. A man can't really work out here like that. <clears throat> but if you step over here, it been like this all day long on this side of the compound. So I'm going to get that side there cleaned out. I'm going to get some wheels on this puppy today. And I'm going to get it pulled right over here. I got my straps. I got my straps on that horse, and if they won't do it, got some more right there, and I, <clears throat> I'm going to pull that bad boy around on this side this afternoon. The next video I show you, that is going to be uh, that 69 right there. <clears throat> You're going to be sitting right there. So, 
once I get it over in the shade, then this here is coming out of the box. And I'ma change the y'all. Uh, I got a different intake for it. Got a new oil pan, new water pump. Uh, I'ma clean it up real good. And I'm going to get some paint on it. And then I get me a new wine harness coming in the way. <clears throat> so that's going to be the next thing that I do. Got a couple of broke studs I got to get out. But I, I take my time. Because y'all remember the story when I drilled through Armstrong and messed up their head. But uh. Built on the budget been working, man. Uh, it might not look like it, but built done got some work done today. All of that stuff you see that's painted pretty, I mean, I had to clean that with a wire wheel, my uh, scaler, a wire brush. All of that stuff, man, had to be done. But uh, now that I got it done, then I was able to put some of that paint on it. And so, uh, like I said, I hate it to uh, have to put that ugly on, but it should sure help you appreciate how much work I had to do to get what you see looking like it looked. And I got to touch up a few things, but I get her done. But I'm excited now, and I wanted to shoot this video to show y'all where I was at, to let y'all know that built on the budget is uh instead of moving forward, give y'all that money shot. Money shot, yes sir. But uh, yeah. I'm excited. See that inner fender? That's a nice inner fender. Little bit of rust right there. If you can't fix that, you really don't need to be doing this type of work because you can buy that from LMC for under a hundred bucks. But by the time they hit you with that truck freight, It'll make you come back and get that one back there and fix it, man. They they pricing this stuff, man. Where it's hard for a man to afford this. You have to go down to the bank and get you a loan just for you to have an old truck, man. <laughs> and that don't make no sense to me. So, uh, y'all see what I got going on here? Transmission mount. It's dusty down here, and it's going to look worse than that whenever I put this truck over there. Because you see that red dirt? If it rain, it's going to splash all up on it and have my stuff looking ugly. But I got some videos to show me what it looked like before it got that way. So, uh, hey, uh, let me see if there's anything else I need to tell y'all about. Oh, yeah. I know what I was going to tell y'all. Uh, first off, let me show y'all these parts. They go to the outer rocker. They go to the footwell piece. And they go to the floor extension that goes from the back of the truck all the way to the front. And it has the inner rocker made on it. You kind of see how that thing set up in there. It's gonna go a little something like. It's gonna go a little something like that. So the inner and the outer rock is made together. And this is that front floor. Sitting in the truck in the driver's seat, see how much of it you got. Uh, it 
it goes a long way over there. It just all depends on how much of it you want to cut out. Uh, I'm going to cut out what's needed. And because when you put that out of floor extension, it's going to come all the way over to here. So your floor pan only needs to go from here over to where it's bad. You ain't going to really need a, a great deal of it to repair that section. But uh, I got that. And then Jeremy, he blessed me with both of the uh, cab corners. So I got everything to pretty much make this truck a nice looking truck. That's what was in them boxes. Now I'm going to tell you something. When you get them boxes like that, they make a nice creeper, boy. You know, especially if you on dirt. Them things that slide and glide. And uh, they really nice, man. You, you take these bad boys and bust them open. And you'll have a nice creeper. But now, let me show y'all something. Now, all of that that I got is going to take a whole lot of cut. You see what I'm saying? So what did I do? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Harbor Freight Special. A 10-pack. Four-and-a-half-inch wheels. You see the dimensions on them. All four of those packs cost me about $20. Ten in a pack times four packs. That's 40 wheels divided by $20. <laughs> Do the math. About 50 cents a piece. And they good. Now, I don't use the D-Walks. I don't pay two, three dollars for one. They'll break too if you if you put them in a bind. They'll wear down too. Uh, you can get the the Matcos, the Linkos, the the Dinkos, whatever brand you want to get. With all of that cutting and stuff, I got to do. You have as much in them high dollar wheels as you had in the parts that you're trying to put in them. So. Built on the budget special. Uh, Y'all go to Harbor Freight and get you some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, $4.99 a pack. You, you can't beat that. I might need to go back and get me a couple of more packs just to have them. Because uh, you don't never know what built on the budget going to do next. So you got to have cutting with. And I got that brand new D-Walk. That brand new D-Walk. I could have got D-Walk wheels. But I didn't want them. I wanted me some Harbor Freights. Because they cut good. Boy, especially when you can turn them. Turn them up. But, uh, hey, look. I just wanted to show y'all that. Uh, let y'all know that uh, Built on the Budget is ready to go. Uh, it, it's it's going to get the sun. It's finally going down behind the tree over there. You see it? it once it get around that tree, it's good. So... I need to go ahead and and uh, get some wheels on that truck and uh and get it moved. So I'm gonna stop this video right here. Uh, Y'all guys like, share, and subscribe. Uh, keep them thumbs up. Keep your notifications on because built on the budget, dropping them, baby. I'm dropping them like they hot. They hot. Yes, sir. Believe those parts. To the next one. It's me, built on the budget. Saying, got you again, Mr. P.I.B. I got you. Hey, Miss P.I.B., didn't I get them? I know I did. Until the next one. <laughs>